and we're back. So, funny story. I actually tried playing again already and forgot to set my microphone to audio. So I was just talking to myself for 10 minutes. Expect that to happen a lot. I absolutely hate it, but I'm just too stupid to notice. So let's try spelunking again. Let's be better this time. Oh crap, I explained some stuff in the last video and I don't even remember what it was, so I don't know what to explain again and what I've already explained to you. Ooh, it's terrible. So expect to hear a lot of stuff again that I've already told you in the very first video. So about these spikes here, let me tell you about these. It's actually done in a very realistic fashion because you don't just die from stepping on them like so. See? It's kind of like in real oh, spike trap. Hmm. Kind of like in real life. You, if you saw, oh my God, there's spikes down there. You just lower yourself carefully and see where you land. So land in between the spikes, and not just on them and then impale yourself and die miserably, just like this. I thought I could dodge it. I couldn't. So um, spider webs just disappear like this. So um. You can lower yourself on the spikes carefully from not too high, one or two tiles up. You can just walk on them from the side and nothing happens. But if you fall on them from like three or four tiles up, you just die. I think it's even instant kill, you don't just lose any HP, you just die right away. So here I can show you how you can just walk on the side of the spikes. See? Nothing happens. You can even jump around on them, okay, well. Ceiling's a little lower there, but you get the idea. Here, just lower, work on them, nothing happens. All is nice, all is fine. So let's not be stupid again like the last video and die to pretty much everything there is, like snakes. Dying to snakes is pitiful, it's, it's not nice. See, this level went pretty nice. Made 14,000, didn't use any items. Okay, well, lost two health. That's too, too much, but oh well, what you gonna do? Let's press on, shall we? More items? Ropes. Yeah, ropes are nice. Ropes can save your ass. Ooh, the shop. Have I told you about the shops before? I don't think I have. So, the uh, shops. You can just buy stuff for gold here. I'm thinking about doing it. I don't know. I might. Hmm. But I need my gold for the shortcut, man. So you can even try to steal from the shopkeeper. It works. If you're good and know how he works, you can really steal from the shopkeeper and even kill him. It's possible too. But the problem is... Yeah, I'm just going to continue on and keep talking. The problem is most of the time he kills you because he's got instant kill shotguns with bullets that fly just everywhere all around the screen and just kill you. Ooh, parachute. But even if you do kill him, he appears again in every level, right near the exit, waiting for you because he knows you're gonna come by there, you're gonna be near the exit. And just then try to kill you again and again and again for every level while you're alive for the game lasts. Yeah, parachute's gonna save me here. See? Triggered automatically and saved my ass. Usually there's this nice animation where you just float down slowly, but I guess I wasn't quite high enough for that. Oh, okay, well. Yeah, I just was gonna say, okay, well, looks like it's already triggered since it's seen me and nothing happened, so I guess it's not dangerous anymore, and bam, I'm dead. Yeah, you see, there's some more deaths than in the last video, because, as I told you, I screwed up and recorded without my microphone. Yeah, he's saying, I hear snakes, I hate snakes, that means the snake pit is in this level. The snake pit is kind of like a semi-scripted level event, because, as you've already noticed, the levels are actually randomized in this game, except for a few exceptions like the snake pit. The snake pit can be on the first level of the first world, like here, and it's, it's yeah, well, it's a pit of snakes, who would have thought? <laughs> Holy shit. Um, but the snake pit usually has a mattock in it, near the bottom, if you will just blow it away with a bomb. Let's see if I can find it and show you the mattock. It's not too useful, but it's nice to show, and too, it's nice to know too. Uh, two bombs already gone. Let's not get caught up in our own bomb explosions. These are instant kill, they hurt. Yeah, that's the snake pit, alright. 
Let's just go down there carefully. Not quite get mauled by the snakes. More ropes. Yeah, alright. Red's loose. Let's use them. And pop. Oh god, there was a bat. I didn't see it, but I killed it. Nothing happens. Everything's good. Everything's fine. So, that's a snake pit. No more snakes in the snake pit. Let's just throw a bomb down here. Climb up. And metal. Metal just this time I'm gonna explain before my metal breaks because that's what happened in the last video. The metal can break. It you can be use it for so many hits and then it just breaks on you. It's kinda looks like it ra it's random how many hits you can use it for. In the last video I was just gonna start explaining and it broke in the very first hit I used it on. It's absolutely amazing. Let's try again. Bop! Yep, some gold for me. And it's gone already. Metox aren't what they used to be, I guess. They were kinda more useful in the older days, you know. When games were still harder and not 3D and not as spelunky as this is. Yeah, let's save the damsel. Oh crap, I think I might have screwed up because it looks like the exit is down there to the left. Hmm. But I don't have any bombs to reach it, so let's hope the exit's in the lower right, or else I have already screwed up and have to kill myself and restart. Let's try to bring the damsel over here and drop down. It's kind of a weird thing here. Look, let me show you. If you crawl to a ledge, you just flip over it like this and hang there. That's fine. But you drop whatever you're holding in your hand, like the damsel. But if you, I can show you here, um, kind of jump from the ledge and then try to stick to it. Yep. You hang to the ledge, but still hold on to whatever you're holding. So, hmm. I don't know, it's kind of unfair a little even. You know, when, when you hang from the ledge on purpose, you should have more control over what you keep with you and hold it with you, instead of just dropping it. Come, smooch baby. Yeah. 1 HP. Oh god, it's a big spider. I fucking hate the big spider and I have no bombs, I can flee. Holy crap. The big spider sucks ass, totally. Let's run. Oh god, it got me. No, don't follow me. I hate the big spider. Let's not be near the big spider. The big spider sucks. Ooh, there's the key. I think I was talking about the key last video too. Um, in some levels there's a big lock chest, kind of Zelda-like, you know. Um, this chest needs to be opened with this key. There's an item in the chest, li something like the parachute from Master. Oh, there's the chest guarded by a snake, big bad snake. Bam! Yeah, that was worth it. Now let's just try to get up there again and get that stuff. Nope, not like this like this either. Yeah, um, it's equipable items like there's a cape, like the cape from Super Mario Brothers, and yeah, it's the Ujad Eye again. I'm in level 2, so I read about this on the um, Spelunky wiki. There's actually a hidden black market shop or something of the likes in level 2, I guess, or maybe it could spawn in level 3 too, or whatever. Well, if you hear some beeping noise. That's this eye that's making the noise telling me I'm near the black market shop. Plus what this does is it shows location of gems in the earth, like here. See this above me, the green gem in the earth. It's just there, if I use a bomb or whatever to blow up this piece of earth, I get the gem. Nah, didn't get it. Um, usually, you, you, of course, you can see what's in the ground. But with the eye, or with these glasses, the golden glasses here, you can see that. So, uh, I'm not gonna buy anything because I'm pretty close to the shortcut man and I'm gonna give him all my money if I even reach him. Yeah, more HP, that's nice. Um, I'm just gonna pause the video here and start a new one. I'll be right back. 